So this right here is the Alpaca Elements Travel Backpack. Full disclosure, they did send me this backpack to review. However, everything I'm gonna be telling you about is gonna be based on my honest opinion. This pack right here is about 35 liters in size and it starts at 260 US dollars. However, if you do opt for the X pack option, which I do have shown here, it is about 300 US dollars. So I also have the camera cube, which fits perfectly into this backpack, as well as this admin pouch, the zip pouch pro, as well as the hub pouch hook and loop edition um, or Velcro edition, whichever way you wanna call it. So before I dive into all of the features of this pack, I do wanna give you my overall thoughts and opinions first. What I really like about this bag are two things. The first thing is the quality of materials. Everything that they've put into this, it definitely makes it feel like a premium bag. When you put it on, when you touch it, when you open it, when you zip it, uh, nothing feels cheap about it. And that's one great thing I like about it. The second thing I like about it is that there's so many pockets and zippers and organizational components to it that it's just, it's almost like the Swiss Army knife backpack of backpacks. There's not too much I didn't like about the backpack. However, there are a couple small things. The first being is that if you are looking for a lightweight backpack, this is not the bag for you. Just because there's so much going on with the bag with different organizational pockets and zippers and everything's just made so premium that it is a little bit of a heavier backpack. If you're wanting something a lot lighter and simpler, this one is not gonna be it. The second minor detail about this backpack, um, which I feel like I would have changed personally myself, would be that I feel like it's a little bit narrow and tall. And for me, maybe I would have traded an inch from the vertical space and added it to the horizontal space, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Other than that, it's a fantastic backpack and I would highly recommend it. So now I'm gonna walk through all of the features of this backpack. So first I'll do a quick level 360 of this bag. So this is the back panel, the side panel, and the front. This is the top right here. And here is the bottom. So let's start talking about this front section right here. There is only one accessory pocket right here at the bottom. Uh, it's small, it's you know perfect for you know if you had a wallet, uh, cell phone, keys, uh, something like that. Uh, so just small items would fit in this bottom section right here. So all of the exterior zippers are YKK waterproof, so you definitely don't have to worry about water or moisture getting in. Now, opening up this front admin section, I really like how they've used this blood orange honeycomb fabric right here on the interior. So it's just so that it's very easy to see all of your contents inside. Uh, at the very top, there is this one zippered pocket right here. And again, where I was telling you about how I wish the bag was wider, if the bag was just a little bit wider, this pocket would have been wider. Um, now there's two pockets right here. And I feel like, at least one of them should have been made wider. And the reason why they're not that wide is because they have two pen pockets uh, down the middle right here. It would have made a little bit more sense if maybe they had like a pen pocket at the top where it would go horizontal. Um, but right now, as you can tell, if I'm trying to, I can, you know, I can't really, I can barely fit four of my fingers in there. So it's a little bit tight and it is, you know, deep-ish. So if you did have smaller items that went down to the bottom, it would be a little bit difficult to fish out. Now, um, at the very bottom right here, it's just one big empty space. So it does go down to, you know, almost the bottom of the bag right here. So if you had a light jacket or anything small like that, it would fit down the, the front right here. Now let's flip the bag around and let's talk about this side. There is one zippered pocket, which has a mesh section so you can kind of see your contents. Again, small little items would fit into there. There is a slightly larger, deeper uh, zippered pocket right here and right here um, there are three accessory little loops i think you can have your um, hub clips um, i have one right here that if you had an accessory attached to it you could just kind of clip it straight on here or if you had any other aftermarket uh, pouches you can definitely clip it right here and dangle it on the inside Within this pocket, there is a sleeve right here. So if you had an Apple AirTag or something similar, you can put your tracker device in there. So next up, let's quickly talk about the bottom of the bag. Um, it's got it's made of a different material on the uh, on the bottom, which makes it a little bit more uh, rugged. Uh, there are two accessory straps which are removable, which are nice. So if you had um, you know a yoga mat, a jacket, um, anything like that, you wanted to hook onto the bottom, you totally can. On this one side right here, uh, they have a stretchable 
water bottle pocket. And there, it also comes with an accessory uh, loop right here, or, sorry, an accessory strap. So if you had a tripod, it would definitely fit in right here and you can you know, hook it on there. It also has a side grab handle right now. So if you wanted to carry your bag in a briefcase style, you totally can. So let's flip to the other side of the bag. So for me personally, I would have preferred another water bottle pocket because um, if you had your tripod on that one side, then you don't have a water bottle pocket anymore um, or if you had an umbrella or anything like that. So me personally, I, 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 I'm a fan of dual water bottle pockets. However, they um, created this uh, another admin pouch area right here. Now this is pretty neat because uh, when you kind of open it up, it's you know quick access. So if you could put your passport in here, it does have the sleeve right here, which is fairly deep. So for thinner items, you can put there. It is also has these other two kind of slightly larger pen pockets on the side right here. And in addition to that, it has another zipper pocket right here. So if you had like maybe a memory card pouch or something, you could totally put that in there. So now let's open up the main compartment. I really like how you can unfold the top flap down so you can easily see all of your contents. And, and again, I really like this blood orange honeycomb material. It really pops and lets your other contents stand out. So at the back right here, there's uh, more accessory straps where you can attach different pouches on here. And this is one cool thing I really like, but on either side, there are zippered mesh pockets, you know, a smaller, slightly smaller one at the top and a larger one on the inside right here. And it also exists on the opposite side. So definitely lots of organization right here. And it's just kind of like one big, you know, cavernous um, open space that you can put whatever you want in here. You do have another larger um, accessory mesh pocket right here and a medium size mesh zipper pocket down here. So at the rear, it has the laptop sleeve. It's nicely padded and actually has another sleeve as well. So if you wanted to put your tablet in there, you totally can. And there's also additional space in the volume for documents or any other thinner items. So now let's talk about the back of the bag. It does have load lifters, which is nice at the top, a very comfy grab handle. Um, the, the straps are contoured, nice and wide and fairly comfortable. And it has uh, horizontal as well as vertical accessory straps. So you can um, you know, attach whatever you want in there. And it does have a nice magnetic sternum strap that you can just you know, snap into place. On the inside of the straps themselves, it is decently padded with foam. However, I think I just uh, prefer kind of just like a standard cushy foam padding as opposed to this, uh, you know, 3D design. Um, however, it is pretty cool and it's, it's surprisingly still comfortable. So the back panel is fairly comfortable. It's got some nice padding and definitely the where the lumbar is, it's a little bit thicker and it does have a luggage pass through strap at the back. So next up, let's talk about the camera cube case. Overall, this is probably one of the highest quality camera cube cases I have seen. Uh, it's not, you know, required to have to put um, so much effort into it just because it's, it's usually will sit on the inside and interior of your backpack. However, they've done they have designed it so that there's accessory straps right here, so you can purchase additional backpack straps and make this into a backpack. However, I don't, I honestly don't think the there's a practical use in that. Um, I just personally wouldn't use it myself, but uh, it's good that it's there. So the very top right here, it does have a nice little grab handle. Um, it does have waterproof zippers and let's kind of open her up. So the dividers are very stiff and rigid, which is really good and will offer great protection. On this front side though, it is padded, but not a lot. So if you know something were to hit it from the top, um, it wouldn't it's it wouldn't hundred percent protect your camera. Um, however, on this opposite side right here, uh, this is something really cool. When you unzip it, it has a nice kind of um, accessory admin section right here. So it's got two mesh stash pockets right here, as well as this an elastic loop for you to hang things on or or keep things into place. Uh, it's it's not bad. It's it's pretty good. I would have preferred if they had a, a little bit more organization, maybe a, turned one of these into a zippered pouch or something like that. So now I'll put the camera cube into the backpack. It's very easy. It fits pretty much perfectly in there. And there's still you know a little bit of room at the very top for you to put uh, anything you else, uh, anything else that you want in there. So if you wanted to 
access your camera. You know, you just have to leave this front part unzipped and there you can kind of access your camera. Now, I feel like it's not the greatest just because, uh, you know, if you did have something at the very, very bottom right here, you will have to take out this camera cube uh, and just kind of lift it to kind of grab your thing out, whatever you have in there, a lens or, or other accessories. So, I mean, if, you, if for me personally, I mean, if you were gonna be bringing around your camera and other things, I would honestly look into an actual camera bag. Uh, this would be okay if you had, you know, a, a smaller camera. Um, it would have been, but because this thing, this case takes up so much space, it would have been nice if they made like maybe a smaller one, which would just, you know, hold, you know, just a single camera and maybe one lens. Uh, that way it would leave more space in this backpack for your clothing and other essentials that you'd be traveling with. So next up, I wanna talk about the admin pouch. And this is probably my most used bag out of all of the bags that they gave me uh, because I use this almost every day. Whichever backpack I'm using, I'm throwing this in there. Uh, and this, it has a, you know, a zippered pocket at the front right here. So if you had maybe coins or a small little Allen key that you wanted to throw in there, you totally can. Uh, but otherwise, what I carry around with me every day right now um, this, this is it. So I have my Leatherman right here. I have a, uh, small rig multi-tool right now with, uh, different hex configurations for my cameras. I do have this, um, pair of foldable scissors right there. I got a Sharpie. I also have a pen, uh, and in here I have a slot of some medication on the inside right there and a couple band-aids on the inside. So I literally just carry this everywhere I go. I absolutely love this. And this is my favorite bag out of all of them. If, I mean, out of, you, you gotta buy this one. And I really love this coyote brown color. It's top notch. So next up, we're gonna be talking about the Zip Pouch Pro. It's a smaller guy. Uh, it has a front little sleeve at the front so you can put your Leatherman or knife, multi-tool, whatever you want. And then on the back side, it also has two thinner items. Now it's a little bit too short. If you put a pen on there, a standard pen, it would put shrewd, but if you had smaller um, accessories or tools, they would fit in there. Uh, and it also has at the very front, a small little zipper. And this, it's, it's small, so you can't really put uh, anything big in there, but maybe coins would be a perfect place for that. And on the top right here, um, it's got a nice, you know, this would be great if you had any kind of small, tiny little documents, your cards, your credit cards, cash. Uh, and it's divide, it's got a small little thin divider in there so you can kind of divide it up uh, and keep it organized. Now it does have this small little black loop right here and you can, if you had one of these um, hub clip attachments on here, you can totally put it on there and you can clip this into your bag. So the great thing about this is you can just literally just snap it off and it magnetically snaps straight back on. Now this, it doesn't come with the clip, so you're gonna have to purchase that separately. So next up, we got the hub pouch hook and loop or Velcro edition. So if you had different patches, you can totally, you know, slap it on here. Uh, at the front, there is a zippered pocket. Again, this is for small items like coins. Uh, when you open it up, now, it is a little bit tight, so it kind of depends on what kind of tools that you have here. Uh, right here, I have my you know foldable scissors right here, which kind of fits perfectly in this um, back pocket right here. It also has uh, additionally kind of three, um, three stretchy elastics right there to hold it into place, and then another sleeve to kind of hold it uh, into place again. Now on the opposite side, I do have my Leatherman and also have my Switchblade. So both of them will not actually fit. Now it has two com divided areas that you can put your thinner, smaller tools in there. And it has two stretchy elastics and two smaller sleeves in there. However, my Leatherman does not fit into there. So I just kind of have to um, use my belt clip just to kind of hook and clip it on right now. So this one, this pouch, is good, but only if you have smaller tools that you want to throw in there. Uh, on the back side, it does also have the same accessory loop, so you can have your hub clip clip onto this. So let's summarize my final thoughts again. The travel backpack is amazing. The quality of materials that they've put into this makes it feel like a premium backpack. There's so much organizational components to it, from the zippers to the different sections. I love it. 
In terms of the camera cube, I feel like it's fairly large. And if you are going to be carrying around this much camera equipment, I personally think that you should just purchase a dedicated camera backpack. Um, so for the camera cube, it's okay. They could have made it, you know, a little bit smaller to maximize the amount of travel gear that you're going to put into here. And in terms of the pouches, pouches are great. You know, this one's just a little bit, you know, small for my liking. The admin pouch in this Coyote Brown is fantastic and fits every single thing that I need. Your needs might be different, but I need this pouch. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more of these, please like and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.